All right, so it's a... Hey, get out of here, get out of here. I had to turn off my fan, sorry. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix a tube real quick. I've been doing it for years. I've been riding BMX for five years now, and I think I've been doing it ever since I started riding. Uh, it's, it's a really, I mean, I don't know, it's not the best way to fix a tube, but it works, and I've been doing it forever, and it's been working for me, and my tubes last me a pretty good bit. Um, let's jump into it. All right, so this right here is just like a, kind of like a, it's literally junk, but it's been sitting around the yard with a pop tire, so it's a perfect opportunity for me to make this video for you guys, so. Anytime you're fixing a pop tube, you definitely want to figure out where it's popped and what popped it because you don't want to fix it and then the same problem happen again. So let me figure out what's going on. I don't think this tube's popped. Oh, yeah, it is. It's got the smallest hole ever. Can you guys see that right there? Can it focus in on it? Come on. Right there. All right, so we're about to fix that. This, this is actually a perfect example. So obviously it's on the outside of the tube. So something stabbed through the tire and stabbed the tube. So we're gonna have to figure out what did this. Fix the tire, then we'll worry about fixing the tube. So what I do for trying to figure out what popped the tube is I just rub my fingers through. I'm taking the risk of getting cut but I just rub my fingers through all the way until I find something that's sharp. Sometimes it's not even that sharp. Tubes are kind of fragile, I guess. I just, like I said, I just run my fingers through it, so. And, oh, whatever it was, I just found it. Look at that. I don't know what that is. Okay, well, whatever it was, I don't think it's in here anymore. I thought I felt something sharp. If I did, I might have pushed it out. Who knows? All right, well, let's start fixing this thing. All right, now, this this right here, <laughs> the first time I did this in front of my friends, they was tripping, but literally, paper. This is the first thing you're gonna need, is a sheet of paper. I've used cardboard, I've used newspaper. Just make sure it's kind of thick paper. I don't know if thin paper would work, but Alright, so you need paper. This. It's just paper, guys, I promise. And the other thing you're gonna need is you're gonna need some super glue. Now, I've used several super glue, like I've used several brands, like Dollar General. Uh, this is just what happened. This is what my grandma had, so I'm gonna use this. So, what I do is I've gotta find the hole again, which it's small, so it's not even leaking. Dang it, I'm gonna have to blow this. I'm gonna have to blow this back up. All right. Literally, it's barely leaking out of that. Like it's barely. Come on, focus. Yeah, so it's barely leaking out of that. But I'm just gonna hold my thumb there and let this air out. So when we go to apply the super glue and paper, that there's no pressure on it, so it dries fast, and we can just hurry up and throw it in there. Alright, I let enough out, like literally it's not leaking anymore. If you have a big hole, I don't know if this will work, but if it's like a spoke stabbed through and popped your tire or like a little screw did, I know all that will fix it. I've done it before. So the first thing I do, can you guys see this? Here, let me try to zoom in a little bit. Hold on, let me, let me get the right angle. All right, so the first thing I do is I take some super glue. Oh shit. All right, so you really, you really, for a hole this size, you don't need much. You just take and drop some on the hole. All right, so you take and drop some super glue onto the hole. Oh, I'm going out of screen. Drop some super glue on the hole. Take a piece of paper. 
All right. Just rip a piece off of the paper. So I just ripped some paper off and then you literally just kind of put it on there. Now I take some more paper and just lay it across and now I apply pressure to it. And literally you only have to do this for a second. See I'm applying pressure to it. And why I'm using this other sheet is because the super glue sometimes leaks out and it gets on your fingers. And if you've ever had super glue on your fingers it kind of sucks getting off. Like I have to chew my fingers to get the super glue off. But once you do that, exact look. Can you guys see that? It, anyways, it stuck to this other paper that I put on there. So pull it off. And you can you can leave this access if you want. I sometimes rip it off. I'm gonna leave it on here just for this purpose today, but let's air this thing up and see what we got. Alright, so we're gonna um, go ahead and put this back in the tire. We've already checked the tire and we've patched the tube. And literally when I say when the title says how to fix a tube in seconds, it doesn't mean rip the tube out the tire in seconds. It means literally put a patch on the tire in seconds. So if you're going to dislike the video, I mean, go. that's all on you. But I'm just making this video to help some people out from, from something that I've taught myself. And I figured it would just help people out. So that's why I'm uploading this video. Because if you ride bikes... Not even if you BMX, if you just ride bikes, you're gonna pop tubes. Like I know my dad, when I was younger, he always had to buy tubes and this this is just way easier, you know? Wait, it's cheaper, easier. You can go to Dollar General and buy a dollar thing of glue and some paper and patch so many tubes with that. My tube was too big. I have to let some air out. We got it all on, let's air this thing up and see how it does. Here, you know, I'll just turn you guys over here. So you guys know I'm not lying to you. Can I loose, hold on. Let me, Jesus Christ. There it goes. Somebody's beefing at me. All right. Well, I, I, uh, I kind of fucked up, but then again, I didn't. The valve stem's crooked, but like I said, it's a junk bike, so I'm not really taking my time. But if you actually take your time with it, it might come out nice. But yeah, the, the valve stem's crooked, but it is aired up, and I don't hear no leaks. And when you do this, just to make sure, you, you want to listen for leaks, honestly. You... I don't hear nothing, let's throw it back on the bike and we'll just ride the bike, screw it. Alright, so we are done with the bike. It's a, uh, it's, you know, it's a Haro, it's old and it sits in the weather because nobody really cares about it, but this is kind of just for the kids, like my brother's friends that come over and ride. It's got a bunch of my old parts on it. Well, actually, it's just got my old bars, grips, and front rim, but that's it, and tires. All right, well, let's go ride this thing and see how it does. So my car is in the way of my ramp, so I'm just going to do like a little few flatland tricks over here for you guys, and then I'm going to end the video. Alright, so I hope this video helped you guys. If it did, please hit that like button, like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.